Well, well, well. Things are getting ugly, people. Unless you've been living under a big rock, you might know by now that uh, Everton are in big trouble. Ten points will be deducted from them because of financial fair play regulations. So the question is, do you think that the next one is going to be Manchester City and Chelsea? Because keep in mind, these investigations took years. Okay? Manchester City investigations have been there like for seven to five years. Some of them were dropped because the limitation status or something like that in law that you can't claim something that happened in the past because it's too too far away but they still have 115 charges chelsea are under investigation right now so it just started now for chelsea football club so it could take years for chelsea to be charged chelsea are not charged yet they are just investigated to put things together and then make it official. So it's going to take time for, for the Chelsea one. But for Everton, it's already in the conclusion, even though they are allowed to appeal. Independent committee already found them guilty. The Premier League, the financial fair play, found them guilty. The independent committee, because they don't want to be like, you know, not fair. They wanted somebody outside the FA, outside the Premier League to investigate on the situation and make a decision. And that committee just said, Everton, you are guilty. And 10 points are going to be deducted. So look at, at them, right? They've been doing good. 14 on the table with 14 points. Not bad for a team that's been struggling for years now to, to stay in the Premier League. Literally, they stayed in the Premier League in the last uh, two seasons or, f or, or three seasons. I mean, literally the last minute or the last game of the season to keep themselves in the Premier League. And they are struggling. They keep on struggling now. So if they take 10 points out of them, look at the table. They might be 19th on the table because they have 14 points. So if they deduct 10 points right now, it, they're going to be number 19th with 4 points, the same amount of points as Burnley. So do you think that uh, Sean Dyche, Mr. WW, Brexit FC, can do some miracles to keep Everton in the Premier League? This is so discouraging, right? The players are going to get discouraged for working so hard and then all their hard work being taken away and they are already thinking about their next clubs. Sean Dyche, you can't blame him really now with everything that's going on. So I don't know if this is going to create a siege mentality for them to fight and fight and keep themselves in the Premier League or it's just going to destroy the entire the entire club. Anyways, my people, we're going to go ahead. And for now, unless for until the appeal is confirmed, you can tell here Manchester City, Liverpool, Arsenal, Tottenham, they are in top four. And then... After that, we have Aston Villa, Manchester United, Newcastle United, Brighton, West Ham United, Chelsea, Brentford, Wolves, Crystal Palace, Everton, Nottingham Forest, Fulham, Bournemouth, Luton Town, Sheffield United, and Burnley. The last one, but everything can change if the 10-point deductions are confirmed. Okay, let's go now and check on some um, some reactions on social media. <laughs> Look at this. A lot of trolls. So, Manchester City have 
115 financial fair play charges. Nothing happened. And then Everton, with one financial fair play charge, they got 10-point deduction. Just imagine if Manchester City are found, you know, even with minimum 10 breaches, they might get relegated and go to League One or even no league. I think they're going to settle it financially because it's going to be really damning for Manchester City. Because let, let's be honest, but listen, they created a precedent here, right? They created a precedent. So they're going to have to apply the same rules to everybody regardless. Okay? If you give Everton 10 points for one charge and then any other club that um, that uh, breaches the financial fair play need to go the same way. No financial compensation. You have to also take their point away. You know what I mean? So this is going to be interesting to see if it's going to be double standards. Chelsea and Manchester City. Let's be honest here, right? Okay, so... So, if you read the statement from Everton here, they even made sure that they mention Chelsea, eventual uh, charges, and also Manchester City. And they even say, brace yourselves, because this is creating a precedent and everybody needs to be treated the same way. So they made sure, really, really sure that it's going to happen that way. Everybody is punished. So listen, even Chelsea fans that I see uh, making fun of Manchester City, 115 charges, listen, they are also part of this. So you can't laugh at other people you have to check on what is happening in your own club first because now that they created a precedent they have to to apply the same rules to everybody and i know i know every fan in the world want to protect their club they're gonna say we are not guilty of anything. We are not. We are not. But honestly, if you did something wrong, I think you should be punished the same way. And listen, I'm a Chelsea fan. I will remain a Chelsea fan even if we are charged. Even if we go to the, the championship, League 1, League 2, no league. You're going to find me in the same channel here praising and supporting my team because i am not here for money i am not here for success i'm not here for because chelsea won the champions league or whatever i am here for something bigger bigger than just success you know what i mean so yeah this is uh, this is just kind of confirmed what i just said uh, look at how the table is gonna look right fulham 15 16 Bournemouth, Luton Town 17, Sheffield United are going to benefit from this and be 18th, uh, Everton are, gonna, are going 19th and Burnley uh, Burnley 20th but listen man you know what Everton actually been doing pretty good, let's be honest Sean Dyche is doing, doing some miracles over there and it's only 12 games played if they want to really stay in the Premier League, even with, you know, 10-point deduction, they can fight January, get Sean Dyche some, some players, you know, three, four key players, hard-working players. He can park the bus, nick a goal here and there, and can keep them in the division because how poor the bottom part of the table has been, you know. You Burnley, you Sheffield United, Luton Town, Bournemouth, you know, teams like that are going to struggle a lot. So I think they still got a chance here, my friends. Let me know what you think.
And I think if Sean Dyche really managed to keep them in the Premier League this season, it's going to be the biggest escape ever. You know, he, he deserves he deserve a statue outside their new stadium. And it's going to be very, very uh, unfair to see them in a shiny, beautiful new stadium in the championship. That is going to be the, the most beautiful stadium in the championship next season if they don't really uh, stay in the Premier League. And I'm just reading some comment here and reactions. So, yeah, what about investigation literally taking place? So, yeah, it's going to be every team now want to accuse each other. Well, how about what about this what about this what about this this is creating really a precedent and uh, yeah it's gonna be really interesting to see what is going to happen but i still they still have a little bit, a little bit of chance to stay in the premier league but manchester city because they have money they have the best lawyers in the entire world I think they're going to drag this and drag this and drag this. And then after that, they can pay a fee or something to get away with this. Wow. It is what it is, people. Let's just wait and see what's going to happen now. Oh, oh. Look at what mail. This is just feeding the media speculations chelsea and manchester city took set uh look set to face relegation from the premier league after everton 10 point deduction if they are found guilty of breaking uh the financial fair play rules yeah it looks like it relegation really because if one charge is 10 point deduction if you have if you are found guilty of not one not two, not three, but five, six, seven, eight, ten. My friend, welcome to the championship and probably welcome to League One, League Two, or no league. 